Welcome to another morning uh, reflection for Lent. And uh, this morning we're with Stephen Green, who's going to lead us in a reading of a poem. So today's poem is by Gerard Manley Hopkins. It's called Pied Beauty. Um, it's uh, a short poem. Um, it's a dense poem, not easy to follow, but it's well worth listening very carefully. Over to you, Simon. Glory be to God for dappled things, for skies of couple colour as a brinded cow, for rose moles all in stipple upon trout that swim, fresh fire coal chestnut falls, finches wings, landscape plotted and pieced, fold, fallow and plough and all trades, their gear and tackle and trim. All things counter, original, spare, strange. Whatever is fickle, freckled, who knows how? With swift, slow, sweet, sour, a dazzle, dim, he fathers forth, whose beauty is past change. Praise him. Simon, thank you. <laughs> this is uh, Gerard Manley Hopkins. Gerard Manley Hopkins is one of the two or three most significant poets of the 19th century and deeply influential in the 20th because he was uh, in many ways uh, looking forwards. Uh, his style of writing was very much a 20th century style. This poem um, is called Pied Beauty. It's a, it's, a, it's a very typical example of his poetry. Um, first of all, it's very jagged and edgy. It uses words in a rather um, uh, a surprising way. Um, full of vivid imagery, but quite dense. So you need to kind of follow it carefully. And what he's doing here is looking at nature and he's looking at the beauty of, uh, imagine a kind of sunny day with the sun streaming through the woodland, creating these little pools of light, uh, little flecks of things on different animals. And so you get glory be to God for dappled things. And that's the wonderful famous opening line, dappled things for skies of couple color, so imagine the sky with the blue and the different shades of cirrus cloud um, as a brinded cow, which is a two-coloured cow, uh, for rose moles on stippled, all in stipple on trout that swim. Rose moles, little, little dashes of rose coloured tint on the, on, the, on the skin of stipples. So stipple is what you do when you're engraving detail on, 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 on a piece of metal. Stippled upon trout that swim. And so it goes on through just these very dense, vivid images of the vivacious colour of, um, imagine a kind of late spring morning in the countryside. And this builds up and up. All things counter, original, spare, strange, whatever is fickle, freckled, who knows how with swift, slow, sweet, sour, a dazzle, dim. He just loved the way in which these words caught our imagination. And then comes the climax or the punchline. He fathers forth whose beauty is past change. Praise him. He God of fathers forth. So there's the, the parent, the, 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 the person who brings this into being as a father who's then going to love what he has brought into being and whose beauty is past change, which is a reminder that all the other things he's been talking about are transient. The spring fades into the summer and thence into the autumn. The creatures uh, are born and live and die. The colours come and go with the weather and so forth. But he fathers forth whose beauty is past change. Praise him. I love the fact um, that he he's so into the detail yes you know typically yeah. when you think of a, of a of a hymn in praise of creation or in praise of nature you think of the big things the mountains and the, the the clouds and the sun and the stars 
But here we're, look, we're looking at dappled things. Isn't I, it? Agree. I agree. I think it's wonderful and fantastic. And you can imagine for us, the next, you know, the next time here we are in central London, the next time we're walking in Holland Park or Hyde Park on a, on a, let's say, on a spring day with the sun streaming through the trees. Just think of that wonderful opening line, glory be to God, the dappled things. It's a great reminder, actually, that we can see so much in small things, can't we? Yeah. If we take the time to look yeah. and even the small little details um, are a, a picture of God's creative genius almost. Exactly. And it, and it comes to rest at that final thought. It's the it's the climax. It's the punchline. It's it's the resting point of, of this effervescent flow of words about the glories of the creation. I think it's it is wonderful. But that last phrase, praise him, it's almost like suddenly everything stops. Yeah. And you could you could imagine that as a call to worship. Yeah. But with with it, it, for me, it makes me want to just stop and be silent. It, yeah, it, like suddenly everything comes to a stop and you just wait. Yeah, there's, and there's a space it, for God. It's amazing. Space for God, the, the, the resting point at which words have words cease and there's just a mysterious silence that is Sorry. you in the presence of God. Amazing. Yeah.